Hey guys, Leif here from Office National Harvey Bay. Uh, if you uh, come across this video, you may have seen this blue screen of death error when you're trying to print from uh, Kyocera printers or also some Rico and uh, Zebra printers. Uh, this blue screen is caused by a recent Windows update that was uh, released in March 2021 and I'm going to show you how to uh, fix this uh, problem. So what we need to do is to apply a uh, hotfix that is now available from Windows and uh, there's a few articles going around on how to, how to do this. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can update this uh, and apply this uh, update manually. So you would need to update the uh, or download the correct hotfix for it from the Microsoft Update Catalog. I'll put the links uh, below in the comments so you can choose your correct uh, patch. So the first thing you want to do before you decide which update to download is to determine your Windows version. And you can do that by right-clicking on the Start button and go to System. Uh, there's two things you need to know about your Windows operating system. You need to know if the system type is 64-bit. Uh, In this case, on my computer, you can see it's a 64-bit operating system. And you also need the version of Windows. So I've got Windows 10 and the version, in my case here, is 2.004. So I need to get those, ten, those two things, 64-bit and version 2.004. Then we can go to the Windows catalog and download the version. Uh, I'm going to search for, so use the links below to search for the appropriate uh, uh, link. And I'm going to search for this one in this case. And you can see that I've got the uh, version 2.004. Uh, and if you look down the list here, you can see there's a few. Uh, these top ones are 2.004. And I've got a 64-bit version. Again, the third one down, Windows 10 version 2.004 for 64-bit systems. So that's the one I'm going to download. Uh, simply click on that one to download the link and I'm going to show you here in a moment once it's downloaded it'll look like uh, like this I've got them all downloaded here but in the 2004 uh, that's the that's the link for my computer you simply run that hotfix uh, it might take five to ten minutes or so to complete you basically just double click on it and once it's completed it'll ask you to restart the machine and once you have applied that restarted the machine you should now be able to print as normal that's it thanks for watching